Good morning folks and welcome back to the coffee bar. We got a special one today. We're about to get educated. So grab yourself a cup of your favorite brew, sit back, put your feet up. Here we go. many of you have your own coffee roaster? I don't have a coffee roaster. I'd like to have a coffee roaster, but I don't have a coffee roaster. Honey, if you're listening, I don't have a coffee roaster. A good friend of mine does though. Kevin Brown, he's got himself his own coffee roaster. He probably thinks he's somebody because, honey, I'm going to run down to the cafe and bring myself a cup of coffee. I'll be back in an hour. Good thing Kevin's got a sense of humor. For the longest time, I have thought, in order to get the freshest cup of coffee, I would love to take coffee out of the roaster, grind it up, throw it in the maker, there's your freshest cup of coffee. That's not the way it works. I thought it was, but it's not. So what I'm learning is coffee has to age. Those of you that are experienced baristas, y'all know that coffee needs to age, but us common folk that are... We're on our own little Keurig coffee bar. We didn't know that. I knew that. Last week, Kevin gave me a call and said, Hey, I want to roast you up some coffee. <laughs> Am I going to say no? No. Here it is. This is what Kevin roasted me up. Now, I like my coffee dark roast or espresso, as you know. And as we know from my last video, the espresso is basically a burnt bean. I'm not going to get into espresso roast. This here, he stopped roasting just before the second crack. Sometimes things are just too easy. Anyway, first crack he said occurred around 78 minutes. And I think he got around 12 minutes just before the second crack. And he shut the roaster off. Brought me some free beans. Free beans. There's nothing better than free coffee. So, I thought, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this home, grind some up. Which is exactly what we're going to do here. See how it tastes. Now, this coffee is less than four hours old. Four hours. Not sure why I just emphasized four hours, but it's four hours old. We're going to see what it tastes like. Now, you're going to watch this video over the next few minutes. Truth be told, this video took a week. I'm assuming it's going to take about a week. That is some nice looking beans. Sorry. Let's grind some up, see what it tastes like. Now I was going to make this coffee in a pour over and then I thought, you know what? I always use a Keurig. Might as well try and keep it the same. So my grind is the same. Beans are four hours old. It's almost a dark roast. I mean, it is just before I said it. Just before the second crack. Uh oh. My Keurig ripped me off here. But we're going to go with it anyways. So here's the coffee. Four hours old. How many times have I said four hours? Five? It smells like a hot cup of water. Meh, there's not uh, really no flavor to it whatsoever. It tastes like a hot cup of water too. That was expected. In two days, I'm going to make an addition to this video. We're going to try it again. And no, I'm not going to bother putting milk in this because it's just like wasting milk in hot water. But I'll see you in two days. Alright guys, welcome back to day two. Day two, two days. Two days later... You know where I'm trying to go with this. This is the coffee that I got from Kevin two days ago. Hey, that worked. It's now 48 hours old. 
we're going to see if it has any better flavor. If you recall from the first part, it was kind of like drinking hot water. Well, I didn't get shortchanged on the Keurig this time. So what happens, I should explain what happens. The minute you roast the coffee, it starts degassing. No, not like Uncle Bob at Thanksgiving. It's just degassing. This takes place over a period of five, six, seven days. At the same time, oxidization starts. I'm not going to explain that one. Anybody that knows me, I'm not scientific at all. The degassing part, I got that one. But the other part, that's out of my league. Which is why, that's not why, but which is why when you buy coffee, any quality coffee, and this is not quality coffee, but right in the front there's a degassing valve. That's a one-way valve. That lets the gases out, but does not let the air in. Degassing. <laughs> All right, the 48 hours later. So here we have the coffee. It smells like there's coffee. As you recall on day one, there was no smell, no nothing. It's trying to be coffee. Now Kevin knows I'm not knocking his roast. He knows. He's also one of the ones that explained to me the process for the time after the roast. So he knows I'm not knocking his coffee. All right, 48 hours later, it's trying to become a cup of coffee. All right, folks, we are back four days after roasting with Kevin Brown's favorite roast. He told me it was his favorite roast. So, the same grind, the same Keurig. Let's see what it tastes like this time. So, you remember, day one, four hours after roasting, it was like drinking hot water. Two days after roasting, it was trying to become a cup of coffee. It was, it was, it was little. It was, it was young. It was just not even matured. Hey, not even matured. So we're gonna go with that. We are now four days after roasting. This is my third try. Remember, it's still degassing. It's coming around. That's really starting to taste like coffee now. The next test is going to be in another two days, which is going to be day six. Welcome back to the coffee bar. I know I told you day six, but I got busy yesterday, so this is day seven. Day seven. This is my third try, fourth try. Doesn't matter. It's day seven. So these beans have been degassing for seven days. I cannot imagine having to degas for seven days. I don't think anybody else wants to imagine that either. So, here we go. Seven days. This coffee just came alive. Well, I must say that is one awesome cup of coffee after seven days. So Kevin, there you go. Uh, four hours after roasting, it's like drinking a cup of hot water. Seven days, this coffee reaches its peak. And after some of the research I did, that was the consensus that the coffee needs time to degas and not let all the oxi oxi uh, oxidization in because the oxidization is what makes the coffee go stale. So if you remember in my last video, I talked about the espresso, how it was taking 14 to 21 days to be at its freshness. And that's what it means. So it was, because it was a, such a dark, dark roast, it takes that much longer to degas. I have trouble degassing for a day, let alone 14 days. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with my hands here either. But, seven days. Now I think Kevin had mentioned to me in the past, that he come to the conclusion after about four days, his coffee was ready to drink. For me and my taste, seven days seems to be the optimum. Now yesterday was day six. I didn't brew this coffee yesterday, so maybe yesterday was it. But day seven, it actually came alive. 
So, that debunks my theory. And I got a chance to try something which was coffee fresh out of a roaster. I wish I had a roaster. You guys hear that annoying sound running in the background? Sounds like a fan running. That's my wall fireplace. The weather here, like yesterday, it was like t-shirt weather. I just went outside a minute ago and it's snowing. I mean, it's so cold today, my dog won't even sit down. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I got a bit of an education with the roasting of beans and how long it takes. So when you happen to go into a store and you see coffee that has, hey, I just had it. Where'd it go? I just had it. So when you go into a store to buy your coffee, it's best to buy it already whole bean because once you grind it, the oxidization really starts coming in then. But look at the expiration date. Now, if you know that your coffee, based on your roast, which is medium or dark or light roast, I'm going to assume that the light roast will come into its profile sooner than the medium or the dark. Look at the expiration date on your coffee bag. So, the coffee that I reviewed last week, the Nabob coffee, had an expiration date of the 15th of November 2020. This bag does have a one-way valve in it to let the gases out. But a week before the expiration date, how fresh is that coffee? And now this doesn't tell me when it was brewed, so I don't know how long it's been sitting in the bag. It's always best to get beans if you have a grinder. Now grinders are cheap. I have a small electric grinder back here that I started out with. They were like 17 bucks. And I was grinding my coffee with that, but I could never get the consistent grind. I then bought a little bigger one, a little better one, and I could change my grinds. And that also affects the flavor of your coffee, the grind. Whether it's a fine grind, medium grind, or a coarse grind will also affect the flavor as well. So, what did we learn? Coffee fresh out of the roaster, no good. Two days of degassing, not enough. Seven days of degassing, you might want to go see a doctor. It's going to hurt. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you enjoyed that. We learned a little something about coffee. And, uh... I learned something about coffee, and I'm not much for science, I'll tell you. And remember what I always like to say? The best way to drink coffee is the way you like to drink it. Later. degassing. No, not like Uncle Bob at Thanksgiving. It's just degassing. Honey, I'm going to run down to the cafe and bring myself a cup of coffee. I'll be back in an hour. I mean, it's so cold today, my dog won't even sit down. That ain't so. Uh, it's not true. It's really...